Hi, I'm Mary Jo Feely with Fourth Dimension Healing in Stillwater, Minnesota, and I'm also the director of the Center for Crystal and Healing Studies, which is my online school. And through my school, I offer a variety of courses from beginning all the way through advanced coursework in energy healing, Reiki, and crystal healing. So take a look at the links below and see if there's something that you may be curious about exploring further. Today, I want to talk with you about a crystal that is really well known, I would say, for its ability to help us nurture self-compassion. And the stone I want to talk with you about today is rose quartz. So rose quartz, I'm going to show you an example of a piece that I work with in my healing practice. Here it is. You can see this is not a polished piece. This is a rough or raw piece. Rose quartz is a cryptocrystalline. It is one of the five members of the quartz family and it consists of silicon dioxide. Now, rose quartz has this lovely water-related, water resonance type of energy and frequency that resonates with that heart chakra and it supports emotional healing. So I would say of all of the gemstones and crystals that we can work with when it comes to compassion, if we're really looking to nurture ourselves and to bring that compassionate, gentle, healing um, love into our life, or I would say also, of course, into the lives of our friends and families and those with whom we work and move and have our being, rose quartz is a wonderful stone to work with. It is about seven on the most hardness scale, so it's fairly durable. It um, can definitely be something that you could work with really very often and not be too concerned that it's going to get really scratched up or, or nicked up or break. So when we think about rose quartz and we think about the water element and we think about that nurturing, especially in the heart chakra, it really does invite us to work with this stone in a variety of ways. Uh, here is an example of a piece that is tumbled. And I'm gonna show you some examples of the rose quartz that I carry in my online store so that you can get a sense of um, the sorts of varieties that it presents as. Small tumbled stones are beautiful to slip in a pocket, slip inside a pillowcase, uh, perhaps hold or carry in your hand. They make just really wonderful soft and gentle ways to engage with a stone. Uh, sometimes larger pieces can be very helpful for supporting more of that environmental frequency and nurturing energy. The working with the smaller stones, and you probably heard me talk about it, can be really helpful. Uh, rose quartz is a wonderful stone to work with also when it comes to working with crystal grids because it brings in that compassionate energy into whatever grid geometry or other stones that you're also working with as you create a grid. Having um, a piece of rose quartz as part of that grid, whether it's one piece or several, can be just really a, a powerful way to support the intention of the grid, the healing you're doing with that crystal grid and bringing in that compassion. So I showed you previously a piece of the rough or raw uh, rose quartz that I work with in my practice. Here's another example of a raw piece that I carry in my shop. So while both of these are rose quartz, you may have different experiences with them. The shape does influence how the energies and frequencies of the stones do kind of emanate out and so that's something that you would want to notice and be mindful of if you're working with a couple of different types of stones. Now on a side note I just want to say that you will often hear me talk about working with the stone and you may say well what does that mean? I actually have another video specifically about how to work with stones so feel free to take a look at that. That might also answer some questions for you. Um, I mentioned that if we have a larger piece of rose quartz, it can be really effective and helpful to kind of set the stage, so to speak. And I wanna show you um, a, an example of a piece of larger rose quartz that I have available. Uh, if you were to be visiting me here in my office, you would be actually finding that you would be sitting in a chair with a large piece of rose quartz beneath it, helping to support and emanate through that space that you would be sitting in. So large pieces definitely have a place in um, healing work. 
One of the things that I find really helpful with rose quartz is that we can be very creative with the shape of the actual stone and how that can influence and um, really support healing. So for example, if we really want to bring in the properties of nurturing and self-compassion and we want to be reminded that we're doing that, we can work with, for example, let me hold it perhaps here, you can get a better sense, uh, a heart-shaped a piece of rose quartz can be very lovely to work with and reminding us again of the compassion that we're calling forth. Any kind of a stone like this makes a beautiful center stone in a grid. Here's an example of a tower that I carry, rose quartz. And I have seen towers like this with the point, okay, so it's been shaped into this point, uh, kind of used as directional energies. I find that this is a little bulky to really use effectively as a wand, although it would work. It's just a little bit more thick and um, bulky. So I like to work with this as a center grid stone, uh, having it someplace in an environment that you can then be able to uh, Put it next to your computer if you're working online. Maybe you are um, a work from home uh, person or maybe you are studying. Those are the ways that you can bring that energy into your activity. Here's an example of a rose quartz egg. The egg represents the balance of feminine and masculine. It connects up with the heavens. It's got a base beneath it to help remind us that we are living in a both and world of anchored earth and connection with heaven. So those are a few examples of some of what I carry in my online shop, the qualities that rose quartz can bring us. And again, really just recognizing that it is such a gentle stone that when we're feeling like we're kind of the one in the rock tumbler and we need a little bit of soothing, rose quartz can really be a wonderful stone to support our healing. So take a look at the links below. See if you have questions. You can always uh, chat through my website. You can send me an email or a text. Give me a call. I'm more than happy to answer questions you may have. Uh, if you go out to my website, you can actually search for Rose Quartz and you can learn more about it and see the various ways that it presents. Okay? So for now, I simply wish you many blessings. Be well.